shortcut through the quasar. Receiving automated SOS. There's someone out there. Foster, can you hear me? What's going on? Looks like they had some serious problems over here. I'm Adam. Dr. Adam Milton. How come your eyes are like that? Like what? They're different. Do it again! Do it again! Okay, but this is the last time. Where's Amy? She went up to her room. What is he? He's an android. He does everything a man can do better. No one's ever programmed ethics into a machine before. You forgot to tell him that killing is wrong? Morals are subjective. You'll never amount to more than you program it. Shut up! He's a walking miracle! Talk to me, Adam! I am Adam, and you are Eve. We'll pair in a superior race. You are the chosen one. I don't choose to be chosen. I don't understand. He's there. He's coming. It isn't possible. I ejected him into space. Machines can be shut down. Not this one. treacherous time. Looks like somebody wants to play, cops and rock! Evil <laughs> has cast a dark shadow over the city of angels. I'm going to open up the San Angelo vault and bury the city of angels. But from out of the darkness, behind the mask, courage stings with a lethal venom. Launch. You're too late, Black Scorpion. No, it can't be. Severance in Black Scorpion 2 Aftershock. This crime just doesn't pay anymore. Life around the Griffin household is, well, normal. You in trouble again? Joshua! You are grounded for a week. So what's your old man been up to? Building any monsters lately in the basement, huh? <laughs> But when Professor Griffin makes the biggest discovery of his life... And Griffin's gonna blow up the neighborhood. Things get a little out of hand. Oh, man, what I wouldn't get to be invisible. Josh's plan to make himself invisible accidentally backfires. And now, not seeing is believing. Joshua! It's as though she's just up and disappeared. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Underneath all this stuff, I'm in... Sorry, Mom. Well, sorry isn't good enough when Mom is invisible. And the worst part is, whoever owns this formula is going to rule the world. You can't do this. Bye-bye. With time running out, it's up to Mom to rescue her family and save the day. Ow! But sometimes... A mom's got to do what a mom's got to do. Starring Trenton Knight... Stella Stevens <laughs> and D. Wallace Stone as the Invisible Mom. Oh, you are so woman. A 16-year-old hooker alone on the streets. Mister, I said I don't do that. 
an innocent witness. Jesus, Lumley. What happened to your face? Just another wild night. A crazed cop. Ah! Rumble in the streets. He's after the only girl. Looking for a girl with a torn heirloom. Who knows his secret. That the most brutal. Where is she? Sadistic killer. Is a cop. He won't stop until she's dead. Tori, come on, we gotta get help. From who? I just blew away a cop. They'll never believe that he's the bad guy and a whore's innocent. You kept your promise about being responsible for me. Where is she? She got into a car. It is real. The human evil is self-evident in this world. But there are other, purer forms belonging to the vapor and the darkness. This I have discovered. You may have an elemental inhabiting your house. A force that knows no bounds. I'm feeling something here. An evil that feels no pity. A horror that preys on the innocent and lives in the house of the damned. Spectre. Your ancestors are practitioners of black magic in this house. I've never felt a presence that strong before. Where is my daughter? We laid Connie to rest. The evil has taken Aubrey in our place. Force feeds on suspicion and doubt and fear. Get away from her. Alexandra Paul, Greg Evergan. This isn't happening! Mother's just awful when she's like this. Spectre. Miss, you don't intend on running up that path, do you? Yeah, why not? Oh, there's some awfully nasty insects in there. Uh, rather unusual this time of year. Oh, don't worry about it. I run up this path all the time. Your funeral.
Janet, could you move your chin just a little to the left? Whatever you say, maestro. Nick, give me a number two diffusion, okay? It's already on the camera, boss. I knew that. Janice, excuse me. Um, the fitness video distributor's just called, and John Talbot's here for your 11 o'clock. Thank you, Mary. I'll be right there. Tell the distributors I'll return their return after lunch. Will do. Okay, one more and that'll do it. That's nice. That's it. Shoot the product this afternoon? Oh. Thanks. Ready for your three mile run? Always. My place or the track? Your place. That way, where we start, we can finish. See you later. Don't you think she's a little too old to be a model? We're talking Airbrush Central here. Oh, serious mileage. I mean, did you see those hands? <laughs> she looks older than my mother. Yeah. Well, actually, your mother's not too bad. Is she yeah. available? Thanks. I don't think so. Remember John Talbot? Absolutely. Thanks, Galloway. Nice to see you. You've met my assistant, Mary Novak. She'll be assisting us today. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Jess, I have to tell you, I came away from our last meeting feeling very optimistic about investing in the skincare line of uh, Starlin products. Well, we have an excellent product line. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. But that's why your recent drop in sales were especially perplexing. But, uh, we think that we can turn things around if you'll follow our guidelines. The last time I followed someone's guidelines, Mr. Talbot, was in the eighth grade. <laughs> well, then perhaps we should have set our suggestions. Ah, then. What do you suggest? Well, for starters, you need more of a, an aggressive ad campaign, like your chief competitor. I'd agree. The skin tone line reinvents the wheel every six months. And, uh, how do you gentlemen propose to reinvent this wheel? Well, uh, you need a new face for the Starlin line. I've always been the face for my products. <sighs> I know, and I've always had tremendous admiration for you, Janice. I have. You know, I followed your career from the early days, back when you were on the cover of almost every magazine in the country. You know, the fitness videos. Sports clothes. Yeah, I mean, the skincare line right up to today. And now it's time to reinvent the wheel. Well, I'm afraid that's the way I see it, kid. It's the public. They've got to have a pretty face.
You know, we can turn this whole division around, Janice. Well, I'll think about your suggestions, along with other options. Fine, and I'll um, keep in touch with you. Fabulous. Janet, we got a minute? I heard you telling Talbot about your other options. What other options? There's always other options, Arthur. Janice, don't be evasive. It's not like you. Arthur. I've just been asked to stop modeling for my own skincare line. Well, you needn't take it so personally. It is personal, Arthur. My face has always been the trademark for my products. Well, why not screen test some new models? But just see how it feels. Try it on for size. And what if it doesn't fit? Well, it's your company. You coordinate with marketing on the screen. You've made the right decision. Janice, I think this is the fact you've been waiting for. Do I meet with your approval, Miss Starlin? I don't know yet. Dr. Zinthrop, Janice Starlin. How do you do? Your line of work's completely foreign to me. You made some pretty far-fetched claims in your facts. Then why are you here? It may take something as far-fetched as wasp hormones to revive my skincare line. Can you show me some proof? Come with me. The queen wasp paralyzes its victim with its venom. I paralyze the aging process with that same venom. By mixing the venom with a natural alpha hydroxy base, I can freeze the tissue before it degenerates further. What about rejuvenation? That's the true discovery. Go over here. Wasp hormones mixed with that same alpha hydroxy base not only arrest aging, they reverse it. The mice in these two cages are exactly the same age, five years old. Old age for any mouse. The mice in this cage received my extract. They're noticeably more vital and youthful. And the cellular tissues are the same as a one-year-old's. But this isn't proof. I can't tell the difference between them. Perhaps I can demonstrate my extract for the scientist in your laboratory. I have a better idea. And then, of course, a bit extra catnip tonight. When will you be back to check the results? As soon as you see them. Daylight, 12 noon, 
place on a tropical island. That I'd like to see. Anything of interest? Well, I was reading here that wasps cocoon their prey after the kill. Oh. And you don't want to get on the bad side of a queen wasp. Why not? She'll sting you to death. Oh. That's it, stretch. stretch. That's nice. Get your chin up, chin up. That's it. That's great. <laughs> this is easy for you. Good, <laughs> good. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, that's terrific, terrific, beautiful, beautiful, that's nice, tell me, that's, what are you thinking right now, show me what you're thinking, that's it, you look terrific, terrific. Still want that diffusion filter? Hell no, we don't need it. I hear you. Beautiful, beautiful, that's nice. <laughs> She's natural, isn't she? Yes, everything but the hair. <laughs> Nonsense. We better grab her before somebody else does. Here, one more. Oh, oh, right there. Right there, hold that. Great, that's it. Hey, Kayla, come over here and meet Janice Starling. Nick, come on. Hi. I am a huge fan of yours, Miss Starlin. Thank you, Caitlin. I see you have some fans of your own. Nesting instinct is consistent with the research of Winnicott and others. The wasp hunter in particular sometimes seeks an already existing burrow for its nest where it will take its living prey to be cocooned. Research begin to make sense to you now? Yeah. You understand that I've never tested this on human beings. You'll test it on me, and I'd like to get started today. No, oh, that's too dangerous. This hormone has properties similar to psychoactive drugs that can induce paranoia, mood swings, even altered libidos. I understand your reluctance, but I've done some research on my own. <sighs> I've learned that you were a doctor of internal medicine before switching to Eastern medicine, and that one of your cancer patients died when you treated him with a highly controversial nemesis vaccine. And then you were expelled from the American Medical Association. And why are you so anxious to be the guinea pig for this hormone? I also know about the other seven patients that received the vaccine from you. All of them alive today without a trace of cancer. You see Dr. Zinthrop. I too intend to beat the odds. I'm only willing to give you small doses of the hormone. Everybody's metabolism is different. You may see results in a couple of weeks, maybe even days. You're the doctor. Janice! There you are. I'm looking everywhere for you. Do you think we can get Caitlin's agency to agree to a one-year contract? Just between you and me. We may not need her. What? But, but the investors? I've got a hold of something that'll blow the skincare division sky high without the investors. Or the blonde. Janice, what, what are you getting at? Sorry, Arthur. 
It's my baby. I will say it's the shot in the arm this company needs. Janice? Are you, you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hi, Doc. Hi, Ralph. I'm glad you're here. I'm running awfully late today. So am I. Can't mm. find Samson. Doc, what do you do with these things? Actually, I'm making a beauty aid out of them. Really? Those ugly things? Funny to me, they're beautiful. Well, have a good night. And uh, by the way, get some beauty rest, huh? <laughs> you too. Thanks, Ralph. Puss, puss, puss. Samson. Scientists warn today that the so-called killer bees will soon migrate from South America through Texas and might infest the entire United States. Now this. Killer bees? My ass. What's next? Are you applying for the security guard position? Actually, I'm one of the torch people, right? Yeah, what's up? Well, what is all this about Janice getting involved in some kind of uh, experimental research? Um, I, I really don't know anything about that. Hmm. Well, I'm concerned, you know, for Janice. I'd like to know more about the research because I'd like to be able to help her make whatever decisions might affect the future of this company. Well, Arthur, I appreciate your concern for Janice, but um, I think she's perfectly capable of taking care of herself. I mean, after all, it's her company. So it is.
Definite improvement in the tissue and muscle tone. Why is it taking so long? Your cat changed right away. Well, I think your metabolism is slightly different from Samson's. Poor fella, I can't find him. He lost. Oh, don't worry about it. He'll be back. Why don't you give me the concentrate? Absolutely not. Be patient. Within mere months, the Starlin Company will revolutionize the beauty industry. Think so? Mm hmm. Take a look. At least five years younger already. Caitlin, come on in. Groovy place. Thank you. Oh my God, I just had to come by and tell you I saw the proofs from the beach shoot. You did an awesome job. Thank you. <laughs> oh wow, I bet you took these too, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice background. Where is it? Arizona? No, actually a couple of miles up the road. It's Bronson Caves. Um, I have to go in a minute. I have a two-day gig in Palm Springs. Would you excuse me while I pack? Oh, well, well, I'll help you pack. Let's see now. What do you need for a trip to the desert? Um, sunglasses? Sunblock? Maybe somebody to rub the sunblock on your back? This is work. Well, it's not being very friendly. That's exactly what I am being, friend. Come on, let me let me walk you to your car. Nick, have you seen Alec? He should be around. He's coming by to pick up some equipment. Hi. Hi. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, Palm Springs, remember? Well, can we at least have dinner tonight? Th there's no time. I, I have to go right now. Hmm. Look, Janice, I think that a couple of days apart is going to do us some good. Yeah, I see. I'll talk to you soon. Sure. See you. Samson? Samson? Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on in now. Samson? Kitty, kitty? Is that you? Kitty, kitty. Come on. All right. I hear you. Kitty, kitty. Come on. Samson. 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 Come on, kitty, kitty. Push, push. Push, push. Samson. Samson. Push, push. Samson, come on, let's get out of here.
Janice? Yes, Mary? Oh my god, is it you? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh god, you look so different! Synthrop? Yes! Wow! Isn't it a miracle? A wonderful, beautiful, magical miracle? Oh, it's amazing! How old do I look? 25 years old. Yes! I feel pretty. Oh, I could eat the panties right off of Shh! Starling! No way. Way? It's unbelievable. Arthur, this wasp hormone extract is going to change the skincare industry completely. Without a doubt. It's going to be bigger than silicone implants. No, bigger, bigger, much bigger. Marketing is going to have a field day. Yeah, well, who wouldn't? Arthur. I hope you understand that the innovative nature of this research prevented me from sharing it with you sooner. You're my right-hand man. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I'm about ready to go public with this discovery. I mean, it's Dr. Zinthrop's uh, brainchild, but he's going to be great with the media. Oh, Martha. I want you to cancel our meeting with Mr. Talbot. Once news hits the street, we won't need his money. <laughs> I need you. I'm out of town till Tuesday, so please leave a message. Damn it. God. I need to see some ID first, miss. should play together. But... I don't know, Nick. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Nick, come here, me. Hey, yeah. hey, how you doing? Look, I'm, I'm working here, okay? Okay, I'll oh, see you. Thanks, pal. You know I'm a great photographer. She looks older than my mother. Nobody can rack focus better than me. You've got the greatest rack I've ever seen. Yeah, and I thought you were one of the smart ones. But I see you're just a fool. So fool, you got to go. Hello, Miss Starling. Hello, Nick. I don't see you here very often. Is this your hangout? It's a good place to unwind. Ah, uh, that's what I need sometimes, a place to unwind. Someone to unwind with. Where's Alec tonight? Oh, don't you know? He's in Palm Springs. Aren't you his assistant? Aren't you his girlfriend? And who's your girlfriend? Oh, I forgot. You have lots of girlfriends, don't you? You must have something very special. I have always wondered about that. How do you get to be one of the privileged few? Uh. Do I still remind you of your mother? Huh? Never mind. Mm.
Ah, that's what I need sometimes. A place to unwind, something to unwind with. Oh. Hello, Caitlin. What do I look different? I'm sorry. Sure you are. You look absolutely young. By the time you're my age, the extract I took will be as common as everyday moisturizer. You'll never have to look old. <clears throat> Caitlin, the Starling Company will no longer be needing your services. I'm afraid so. What did I do wrong? Nothing. It's just that I'll be modeling my skincare line now. But you've done a very good job. And I'll be happy to make some calls for you. Thank you, Miss Starlin. Hey. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> it's me. Janice, what did you do to yourself? Creative skin management. <laughs> Wanna go to dinner? You know something? I don't like the sound of this, Janice. This is an experimental drug. You have no idea what the side effects could be. I can live with a couple little headaches if that's all it means. This has not even been tested on a human being. Why didn't Zinthrop try it first? Someone has to be the first, Alec. Look at the Wright brothers. <laughs> yeah, well, the Wright brothers were the 50th guys in line. There were 49 dead guys before them. They took a chance. I've always taken chances. That's how I got where I am now. I, I feel better than I've ever felt in years. 20 years. Don't you like how I look? Of course I do. But I also like the way you looked before. Let's forget dinner. Make you breakfast at my place.
Yeah, right? Oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you. Guess who got caught shoplifting? Hold on. Hello? Mary. Janice, what's up? Something may have happened to Dr. Zinthrop. I want you to keep this between us and call the local hospitals and the police stations and see if you can track them down. It's very important. Okay, I'm on it. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Hello, Arthur. Um, I, I can explain. I'm sure you can. I, I was concerned about you because of all that way out research on wasps. Cut the crap, Arthur. You're a liar and a thief and you expected a kickback for selling my company. Correct me if I'm wrong. What are you doing? Well, uh, I'm guessing that I'm fired. No, you're not. You mean I can keep my job? I insist on it. Your treachery shows a certain resourcefulness that, frankly, I can appreciate. We're a lot alike in that way. Do you know I've always been drawn to you, Arthur? I'm really a secret admirer. I want you to stay on. I want you to help me see this company grow bigger, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I want to share it with you. The growth will be exponential, explosive. <clears throat> serum things released on the market. Do you think that Janice is going to give us an employee discount? Carla, you're 25 years old. Give me a break. Have you been to any clubs lately? No, I can't say I have. They're loaded with 18-year-olds. Don't tell me they don't have the edge. Well, they've got nothing on us. Got your coffee? Thanks. Any word on Synthrop? Nope, I'm afraid not. Damn. Hey, are you okay? Why do you ask? Um, you just look a little pale. Everything's fine. Hi. Hey, Mary. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Pretty good. You have a minute? Sure. What, what is it? It's about Janice. 
Alec, I can't believe it. Isn't the change amazing? Yeah, it is. No doubt about it. But I'm worried about it. It's this treatment she's taking. It's having a strange effect on her. She sometimes seems like a different person in other ways. Do, do you notice this? Well, um, she looks a little pale, but overall she's got more energy, more confidence. Yeah, it's one way of putting it. Don't you see the way she's treated you and other people? Hello, John. Come on in. I'm glad you could come on such short notice. Um, sorry for staring, but it is incredible. I mean, Arthur told me to change, but now that I see it with my own eyes, it's just remarkable. I know. I was just delighted to get your phone call today. Yes, let's talk about your investment in my company. Let's. You know this wasp hormone of yours? It's the most exciting prospect I've seen in years. Perfect. However, there's something you should know before you firm up this agreement. I've been doing some house cleaning in my company. You have to stay lean and mean to survive in this economy. Mm -hmm. And I've decided to let Arthur go. Arthur? He's just not pulling his weight, John. Surely you understand. Hmm. Well, if he's not delivering the goods, I guess he's out. Well, this leaves more for you and more for me. I am so glad you see things my way. I really, really like your strength, John. You'll have to forgive me, but uh, you are so captivating, I can't help it. Funny, isn't it? What's well, it's funny. Just last week, you wanted to replace me with another model, and now you can't keep your hands off me, John. Well, you know, things have changed. A lot has changed since then. Oh. Like my age? <laughs> <laughs> well, well. You know what? Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all, Janice. I mean, we are going to be working together, aren't we? Wouldn't want a sexual harassment suit. Now, would I, sweetie? You'll know when I'm harassing you. Look, I think it's time for me to go. My wife is making dinner for me. Oh. She'll have to wait. Look, this is getting out of hand, you understand? Oh. I was under the impression you like to cheat. Let go of me now. 
Did you see Arthur today, Mr. Talbot? No, he wasn't in his office. So he couldn't give you any more information, could he? No, he... Look, I don't know what kind of game you're trying to play, lady. But whatever it is, our deal is off. You need a new face for the star mama. I'm feeling well. Mm. Where'd you go? Well, I was home for a little while, and then, you know when you get the urge to go out? That's what I did. Alone? Yeah. Uh-huh. So you just drank a whole bottle of Chardonnay by yourself and away you went? Mm-hmm. Janice, you seeing somebody? No. Someone here said they saw you leaving a bar with Nick. Now, I'd ask him myself, but uh, he hasn't shown up for work for two days, so... Nothing is going Something on. Something is going on. You've changed ever since you started taking that drug. This is not the time or the place to be talking about this. Now you get private? You know something? Before you looked 21, you wanted people to know we were together. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Uh, can, can we talk about this for a minute, please? Later. No word on Synthrop. Okay. I like that one. I like this one. I'd like to launch a new ad campaign as quickly as possible. Certainly our customers will notice the age difference. Do we tell them about the wasp hormone? No, we can't be specific. Remember, it's a drug. It's not a moisturizer or an astringent. It's going to take a while before we can get it through the proper channels. So has anybody contacted Dr. Zinthra? I've tried several times and there's still no word. We might be able to work this to our advantage. We lure the customers and the investors in with the promise of something to come that already has proven benefits. 
Until Dr. Zinzerk is found, wasp research is at a standstill. Can't we bring in someone else? No. Let's give it a little more time. I think we covered everything today. I'll see you at our next meeting. Janice, where's Arthur? Shouldn't he have been here for this? I let Arthur go two days ago. What? Arthur's been with you 20 years. I can't get into this now. sometimes seeks an already existing burrow for its nest, where it will take its living prey to be cocooned. I just want you to know that whatever happens, whatever has happened, I love you. I still love you. 
What are you talking about? I watched you through the window at Synthrop's lab. So? So? You're acting like a common drug addict. What's happening to you? What happened to Arthur? What happened to Nick? I listened to Zinthrop's tapes. I don't know. I don't know. Just help me. Just help me. I will. I will. Tomorrow we're going to go to a doctor. Okay? A real doctor. We're going to find a solution to this. And it'll be okay. I won't be 25 anymore. That never mattered. I've done terrible, terrible things. We're gonna work this out, okay? Hold on just a second, I'll get that. I love your suits. Thank you. I love your earrings. No. No, I'm not going to come get it. Bring it here. Uh, hold on. Just a second. Janice? Janice? Is everything all right in there? Don't come in here! Open the door, Janice. I said don't come in here! Just open the door. What's going on? Open the door. Please open the door. Is, is Caitlin here? She said she was going to the studio. She got a call from Miss Starlin. She said she needed her for a shoot. Nine at night? Well, she told her to go through the back way. They were working on a deadline. That you had an idea of photographing the both of them. Um, thanks. Sorry to bother you. Is something wrong? Maybe.
Starlin? Thanks for coming, Caitlin. Hey, no problem. Where's Alec? Alec will be coming here soon. Not soon enough for you, though. instinct is consistent with the research of Winnicott and others. The wasp hunter in particular sometimes seeks an already existing burrow for its nest where it will take its living prey to be cocooned. Where are you taking them, Janice? Hello. Mary? Ma? No, Mary. It's me, Janice. Jess, what's, what's up? I need your help. I'm in trouble. And you're the only one who can help. What's the matter? What's wrong? I need you to meet me right now up at Bronson Cave. Um, okay, just sit tight. I'll be right there, okay? Okay. All right, bye. No, actually a couple of miles up the road. It's Bronson Caves. Thanks for coming, Mary. God, you scared the shit out of me. Are you okay? 
I'm fine. Well, what's going on? Why did you ask me to meet you here? I just wanted to tell you goodbye. Goodbye? Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. What does it matter with you? What are you talking about? Did you think that I wouldn't find out about you and Alec? Alec? Oh my god, Janice, you're crazy. You need help. Shut up! The way I see it, you're the one that needs help. Janice, no. Poor little Mary. Must be frightening to know that you're gonna die without Alec here to save you. My god, you sick bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She was so beautiful. <laughs>